everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to learn about chromatography and we're going to make chromatography flowers out of coffee filters. In order to make these chromatography flowers, we're going to have to know what chromatography is. So chromatography is the separation of mixtures. So in our flowers, we are going to draw on coffee filters to show how dark green, light green, orange, blue, brown, purple, and pink are all separated into the colors that make up colors. For example, this green is made up of lots of different colors that we don't know about until we actually practice chromatography that separates it into what makes it that dark green. To do this experiment, we're going to need about six or seven coffee filters, a plate, six cups, water, some scissors, and different colors of your choice, just like magic markers working. Any color you want to use will work. And you also need to make sure that the um, area you're using is something you can make a mess on, or if it's not, you need to make sure to put down something to keep it clean like paper towels, newspaper, and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of water in each cup. You don't need a lot because it will take all the color out and dye the water instead of the flower we're making. And then you need to take your coffee filter. You take your coffee filter and put it on, I use the plate because it works best than drawing on a paper towel or something because the paper towel absorbs the most of the color. And now on this one we can do a design. So around the center, let's just make a cool design. It doesn't take a lot of ink. Fold them in half and then in half again. So it makes a little shape like this. And then stick the little tip into the water. You might want to hold it there for a little bit. Let your coffee filter sit in the water for about five to ten minutes and look at how it changes color. Look, the blue turned into an orange. That's cool. I didn't know that was part of the ink and the purple's made of, you know, some blues, dark purple, light purple, pink, orange has, you know, some light orange, dark orange, and yellow. The green has a lot of different colors of green and there's even some blue in there. And then this is our pattern. It's cool. This one's my favorite. It has green, yellow, blue, pink, some orange and purple all in it, just using these two colors. This one's also my favorite because I didn't realize that this blue color had an orange in it and it had made really pretty variations of blues too. Once the five to 10 minutes has passed, take your coffee filters out and put them on your little working area to let them dry. So once you put them all together, you can, you know, stack them up and then put your finger in the middle and fold around your finger. And instead of putting them in a cup or a face, you could take a twist tie off of old button, um, off an old bread container thing, you can just take one of these and twist around it. And try to make it super tight and then twist it. Now you can work around and pull some in, some out, and just make a really pretty flower arrangement made out of your own creativity, coffee filters, and some magic markers.
and you can give it to somebody you want, like your mom for Mother's Day, or you can just keep it and put it in your room or somewhere you like. 